Hey, this is Pat with I2RCNC, and today we're going to go over how to engrave a name or any kind of text into your projects. So first you need to go into your CAD CAM software. For this instance, we are using Vectrix Aspire. In Aspire, you go over to the draw text option, and then in the box, write your prompt. For this one, this is a custom order for one of our clients who has the last name Shia. So we are putting that on this project. When you're typing, you can set your anchor point, which just means wherever the text is gonna go. Ours is a bit off the project right now, but we're just gonna set the anchor point to zero, zero, which is the center of our project. And then since it's rotated incorrectly, I recommend going into the rotate object orientation setting and hitting 90 degrees just to make it flat. You can eyeball it, but I recommend just doing it a bit more accurately just for the sake of symmetry. Next, we can drag into the correct spot using the transform tool, and then we can align to the exact center by using the align tool. You can scale after this, but often you're gonna to have to realign unless your anchor point is set to the center of the text, but it's as easy as just doing the same thing we did before. Next, create a toolpath, select V-carve toolpath. For the bit, I recommend using a narrow angled V-bit. Narrower the angle just allows you to get a bit more detail because it's not going to be as wide at the top and you can go a bit deeper so you can guarantee some kind of depth to your engraving. For this, I'm using a 30 degree V-bit and that can get you very fine details and I recommend them for these text-based works. Once you get all those settings squared away, label your toolpath accordingly so that you don't get it lost in all the other ones. And then you can preview it and just make sure that all of the parts of the text are being carved. Sometimes if the text is too small, the bit won't go down enough to even register on the preview. So just check before you export. Once you have it the size that you need it to be, just export it and load it into UCCNC and load it up like you would any other toolpath. Let your machine run. You can monitor it and just make sure that it's hitting all the points that it needs to. And then once it's done running, take it off the machine, put whatever finish you want to on there, fill it with epoxy, whatever you prefer, and you have a perfectly engraved project in just a matter of minutes. Hope this helps, and I can't wait to see what you guys make.